Hello fellow gamers. This is Nerdbird. I just wanted to do something a little different this time. I want to show you guys uh, some tricks with the graphic settings that will really improve your gameplay and your frame rates. Uh, this is something that uh, mainly for people who are on laptops or on uh, older systems. Uh, this will make a pretty huge difference in the way that your game plays. Uh, I am on a Lenovo Y580 a laptop with the GTX 660M graphics card. Uh, it's running the Core i7 chip. Uh, but uh, this is actually a, a really, actually a pretty decent laptop for gaming. But uh, there are a few settings that I changed that uh, have really improved the way that the game plays for me. Uh, and it may, it may help you as well. So I thought that I would just put this out there. And you know, if anybody could benefit from it, then that's fantastic. Uh, I want to show you guys what I've got right here. Now this is on Ultra, uh, as high as it'll go. Everything. The only thing I don't have on right now is anti-aliasing, and I don't use it because uh, at 1080p and above, it's really kind of pointless. Uh, it doesn't help enough to really make that big of a difference. In some games, it probably does, but in World of Warcraft, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, so let me show you what I've got. Like I say, everything's on ultra, cranked up as high as it'll go. Now, the settings that I adjust that really make the largest amount of difference uh, is shadow quality, turn down to low, liquid detail down to low, sun shafts, disable, particle density I like to leave on high because I like the sparklies. <laughs> so, uh, and SSA, or SSAO is it helps a little bit with your lighting effects and if you like that kind of thing and you have a system capable of running it then you know by all means leave it up uh, but I usually turn that down to low uh, depth effects I usually turn down to low lighting quality I like to leave on high but I mean you can adjust it it's, it doesn't have as much of an impact on uh, your frames per second as you might think uh, move over to here uh, in your environment your view distance, environment detail, and ground clutter. These are some of your biggest frames per second hogs of <laughs> in the entire graphic setup. View distance. I usually drop that down to good or high. Now we can leave it on high for right now. Uh, and you're going to see uh, what I've got here. Usually I take environment detail all the way down to low. Environment detail is things like grass, rocks, you know, extra things laying around on the ground. Your ground clutter, same thing. Let me show you what difference this makes. See how that affects your grass and that type of thing. Now that is what really sucks your frames per second because each one of those different patches of grass, as you can see, are animated and that really sucks your frames per second down a huge difference. Now I'm running this on uh, my recording software and I can see that I went from all the way up on ultra at about maybe 20 frames per second all the way from there when I hit apply after changing these settings up to 65 frames per second so that is a major you know jump in frames per second if you want to get a little boost out of your graphics then that's exactly the way to go now let me show you something see the uh, the fidelity of your character the textures on your character, your weapon spell effects, things like that, none of that changes. Uh, it doesn't have any effect because you didn't change, didn't change the anisotropic filtering or the textures. So those things remain the same. That means everybody, else, everybody else's characters that you see are going to look great. Your character is going to look great, and it really makes a big, you know, big difference in frames. But you still have great-looking characters. Now we turned the water down to low, but as you can see, uh, the water still looks pretty darn good. I mean, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, I've got the view distance set on high, as you can see, uh, way off in the distance, it's a little foggy, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not enough to even affect you, especially like even in Battlegrounds, which, you know, as you all well know, I do quite a bit of. Uh, so these settings can really improve your frames. Uh, now, just to give you guys a, you know, to verify this, I'm going to show you what I'm getting right now. Here's my frames. I'm getting 74 frames per second right now. Now, let's go back in and bump everything back up to ultra.
Now look at my frames. See? 20 frames per second. That's the difference that you're getting in something that really has no bearing whatsoever on gameplay. Now, particularly when you're in battlegrounds or PvP situations, world PvP, you know, arenas, whatever it might be, these settings uh, can make a tremendous difference in you know whether or not you're going to be able to to uh, you know out maneuver your opponent because you're you're getting better frames you know and that's important in PvP and more so even than it is in PVE but of course in PVE situations you know when you're in a big crowd of people you're going to want those extra frames so these kind of things simple changes that really have no bearing on gameplay that can tremendously increase your frames per second. So let me show you one more time. Shadows low, liquid detail low, sun shafts disabled, particle density stays the same, SSAO down to low, depth effects, I can you can disable that entirely, really it's pointless in this game anyway. Uh, lighting quality high, leave that alone loud. Don't mess with your textures at all, leave them alone. Your environment details, low everything on low and hit apply like I said I leave NIA listing alone and I'm back up to 100 frames per second now now you see how easily you know that that can make such a tremendous difference in the way your game plays uh, now like I say character models and everything else is going to still look great all your mounts are going to look great everybody else's characters are going to look great but you just it eliminates a lot of that silly stuff you know rocks and grass and all that stuff that i mean while it looks sexy and if you have a, a huge powerful system whether it be a laptop or desktop uh, then by all means you know kick that stuff up because the game looks great you know with everything blazing on ultra uh, it looks really fantastic for a 10 year old game i mean it looks great so, you know, I highly recommend if you have the capability of doing that, then by all means, please do. Uh, but this may help those of you who are running, you know, lower systems and uh, like my laptop, like I said, with the GTX 660M. Uh, if you have a laptop and you're running WoW, then this could give you a tremendous boost in frames. So hopefully this was helpful. And uh, like I said, it's something a little different for the channel. And uh, I may try to do a few commentary videos uh, before too long. But I sincerely appreciate everybody who watches. I appreciate you guys uh, liking the videos and subbing and things. But I, I, I don't want anyone to feel obligated to sub or to like. Uh, I will never monet monetize the videos uh, ever. Uh, I'm not have no intentions of ever becoming a YouTube, you know, uh, champion of some sort. You know, like uh, Swifty Bajira, all those guys, uh, Census, and, and the guys that I watch all the time. Uh, there's there's no intention for me to ever do that. I'm just doing this for fun, uh, for some of my family and friends. I do this uh, strictly for that. But uh, any likes or subs, uh, really, it gives me incentive to do more videos and, uh, you know, gives me a little boost in, you know, my morale. So I appreciate it, and I thank you all so very much for watching the videos. Everybody take care, and I will see you again soon. Peace.